Hey guys, it's the 20th of March today and I am 22 weeks and one day pregnant today. Uh, hard to believe today is supposed to be the first day of spring considering we have a massive snowstorm happening right now. Um, there is so much snow that it's up to my knees. Um, I tried to go to my doctor's appointment today and there's just no way. I was wading in it up to my knees. So thankfully I'm able to get in tomorrow. Uh, excuse me. But... Um, some things have gone on since I did my last 20 week uh, vlog. Thankfully, nothing to do with baby. She's perfect and healthy as can be. Uh, I told you we had the anatomy scan and um, the high risk doctor was supposed to do it. Unfortunately, she couldn't. So I had to go downstairs to the low risk place and the texts don't really tell you a whole lot. Um, thankfully I did get a tech that told me everything, um, but I still wanted it to come from a doctor, like the official report. So we had the, uh, official anatomy scan report, um, the following week when a radiologist reads it and all that stuff, and everything was great. Um, she's actually, <laughs> she's a huge baby. <laughs> um, I think I mentioned in the last vlog... Her weight was estimated at 14 ounces at 20 weeks, and it's supposed to be right around 10. And when we had the official report come in, they told me she was actually measuring 20 weeks and 5 days when I was, um, no, 20 weeks and 6 days when I was 20 weeks and 1 day. So she is measuring 5 days ahead. Um, but I'm continuing to lose the weight. I've lost a total of 14 pounds now, although um, I'm definitely gaining inches, that's for sure. I'm at the point now where um, you're supposed to start putting on the weight, so I think I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Hopefully I don't put on any more than what I've lost. Uh, so what else happened? For a while, I fell back into having some pretty bad anxiety again, and that's because I was reading stories on Facebook about um, late-term loss. Like, I wasn't specifically going and looking for them, but I would read statuses like um, so-and-so had a baby and it turned out to be stillborn, or so-and-so's baby passed away at 37 weeks or 26 weeks or something like that, and it's just really had me worrying. I was a really, really bad basket case um, from the moment I found out up until we had the official report of the anatomy scan. And I did not want to fall back into that because that really takes a lot out of me. Uh, I just completed as of yesterday five weeks um, worth of counseling to help me um, gain coping skills for my anxiety and I definitely really proud of myself because I notice a huge improvement on my thought patterns. I can change my thoughts and focus on more positive ones. Um, my counselor was very impressed with me, so I'm pretty proud of myself and I'm proud that I took the initiative to go and get the help that I so desperately needed. Um, so for a while when I was having the anxiety, I had to use my Doppler again, probably um, at least once a day in the mornings for about four or five days. But thankfully, um, Charlie has been a lot, a lot more active. Um, now we play a little game where if I poke my belly, she'll poke back at me. Um, I'm just so in love with her. I'm so bonded to her. And I remember... Um, vlogging earlier on in the pregnancy saying that I was not having the bond that I wanted with her because I was scared to and now I'm just I'm so in love with her and I'm so happy and um my husband oh my gosh to see the relationship those two have already she's not even here like he talks to my belly he rubs my belly he will read to her it's just so adorable although <laughs> She's kind of stubborn in the fact that she will not kick for daddy. Um, he will put my hand on my belly and she will stop kicking immediately. But uh, it's nice to see the, the bond that he has with her. And that was another one of my worries because most of you know we used a donor to achieve pregnancy. 
but that doesn't seem to be an issue for him whatsoever, and I'm so happy. That that really uh, it warms my heart to see the relationship that he has with her when she's not even here yet. Um, the only thing that's really drastically changed is <laughs> it really sucks. I'm I was diagnosed on Saturday with having supraventricular tachycardia or it's SVT for short. Um, tachycardia in pregnancy is very common. It's where your heart will be over 100 beats per minute. Um, and that's because you have a lot of extra blood that needs to be carried to the baby. So it's normal for your heart to um, beat faster than usual. Um, I think the doctor was saying anywhere between 80 and 100 beats per minute is considered a normal heart rate. Anything over 100 beats per minute is called tachycardia. It's super, super common in pregnancy. Don't freak out if your heart's like 130. Mine usually is between 120 and 130. However, I had a really scary episode on Saturday. I wasn't doing anything to cause a rapid heart rate. In fact, I was just trying to make breakfast. And um, I bent down to put the bread back in the bread drawer because um, I was making toast for breakfast and my heart started just pounding really really hard and really really fast. Now this happened to me only once before and it was never when I was pregnant. Hey Boa. Hey Andy's in here. Um, so when it happened when I was pregnant I was really worried if there was any concern for the baby because normally um, it will correct itself on its own after a period of 15 to 20 minutes. So I called the hospital um, in labor and delivery to see if there was any, any danger to the baby, because if not, I didn't want to overreact and um, go up to the hospital if there was no need to. Uh, they wouldn't tell me anything, so I called my emergency room and they told me to call um, this telecare. I don't know if the, um, the people in the States have it, but as Canadians, if you call telecare, they tell you you're dying anyway and you need to go to the hospital. Like, you could have an ingrown toenail and they would tell you you need to go to the hospital. It doesn't matter. So, I had the Doppler on my chest um, and it was showing my heart rate was 200 plus beats per minute. Matt freaked out uh, and called 911. He called the ambulance. And I went really, really downhill really fast when the ambulance got there. Um, they put oxygen on me when my heart started to reach the 130 mark. Or no, not 130, 230 mark. And they had me doing these exercises where you bear down and put a lot of, like, I don't know, you, you tense yourself up like this and you bear down as if you're going to have a bowel movement and take really deep breaths. That wasn't helping in the least, and when I stopped doing that, my um, heart skyrocketed up to 250, and I started to get really lightheaded, and it was really difficult for me to catch my breath, and I passed out. So they took me up to the hospital, and this had been going on for probably, I'd say 20 minutes at this point. Got to the hospital and they monitored me having this episode for about another 20 minutes to 30 minutes and thankfully it corrected itself before I needed the medication that they would administer I through an IV um, to fix it. I really, I'm really scared of heart medications that slow down your heart. Um, I just, I don't know, that's a whole other topic but thankfully it corrected itself um, and I return to my normal heart rate of between 120 and 130. Sometimes for, for a while, um, it was in the 150s. And I became really, really tired afterwards because it takes a lot out of you when your heart's pumping that fast and your body's working overtime to try to put the blood through it like it's supposed to. And it's just, it's hard work trying to breathe when your heart rate is that fast. So anyways, um, tachycardia is common in pregnancy, but supraventricular tachycardia is not common in pregnancy. Uh, it's brought on 
um, if you have any other pre-existing heart conditions, which I don't, people who have hypothyroidism, um, it's common for them to have. And they did check my thyroid level on Friday as per the request of my OBGYN. So they had the results there on Saturday and it was fine. It was in a normal level. High stress can bring it on, which I had 20 weeks of pure hell and high stress. Um, and a really high dose of caffeine. I have really bad headaches and have been um, having at least a, like, a little bit of caffeine, um, as I've mentioned before, but I'm completely cutting that out. I don't want any, anything like this to happen again. Thankfully, there is no danger to the baby unless... Um, it's going on for a period of time and nothing um, will help me, nothing is making it go away or it's not correcting itself on its own. So yeah, that's everything that's happened from week 20 to up till this point. Um, my cravings, I'm having massive, massive cravings for poutine. I'm trying to make it a once a week thing, make it my weekly treat. Um, that's about it though. Poutine. Oh, and Caesar salad. I have, like, I can eat anything with Caesar salad dressing on it. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, so I'll wrap this up. It's been over 10 minutes. As you can see, I once again changed the nursery around, and I will do a nursery tour when it gets a little bit more put together. But thanks for watching, guys. Bye.